do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Orson Welles. To some, the reliance of Orson Welles on commercial work was evidence of just how far his career slumped since his creation of Citizen Kane, arguably the best film ever made in 1941. In reality, he was trying to raise finance to fund a passion film project called The Other Side of the Wind. You know, Mr. Thatcher, at the rate of a million dollars a year, I'll have to close this place in 60 years. J. Walter Thompson's attempt to court Wells to front its advertising for Findus didn't get off to the best start and didn't improve much either. Listen to these outtakes, now known as the Frozen Peas bloopers. Could I have one more go, Orson, please? Sorry. What? Could I have just one more take of that? Sir? Why? I just did it right. Yeah. Uh, look, I, I'm not used to having more than one person in there. One more word out of you and you go. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Who the hell are you, anyway? No, I'm the engineer. Well, why the hell are you asking me for another one? Well, I thought there was a slight bonk, and I would like, just like to be safe. Jesus. I spent 20 times more for you people than any other commercial I've ever made. You are such pests. Whatever it is you want, I can't deliver because I just don't see it. That was absolutely fine. It really was. You, you, it isn't worth it. No money is worth looking for. His contempt for the hand that fed him reached its heights in his most famous campaign, a three-year partnership with low-end Californian wine brand Paul Masson. Dry, a delightful white wine. Paul Masson he made eight TV so commercials and a series of print ads for Paul Masson, all of which use variants of this much parodied slogan. Paul Masson will sell no wine before it's time. In this now famous outtake, a drunk Wells slurs over his lines. Ah, the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. There is a California champagne by Paul Masson, inspired by that same French excellence. Resulting in this dubbed version. There's a California champagne by Paul Masson, inspired by that same French excellence. This champagne doesn't come from France, but it was created by a man who did, Paul Masson. Thanks to Wells' drunken performance and erratic behavior, he has become embedded in popular culture, even if Paul Masson has not. Despite this, he remains the man with the greatest voice in the world, probably. As Wells himself admitted, he lent class and gravitas to products that otherwise were lacking. For example, this photocopier. When you buy a Nashua copier, you're also buying the fiercely proud reputation of the company whose copiers outsold all other plain paper copiers worldwide. This ad for Nashua was his last before his death in 1985. He didn't see the other side of the wind made in his lifetime, but the film was completed in 2018. It opened to rave reviews, unlike Paul Mass on Wine. Walk at the door, sounds a pretty wind, space 